Well, here we are. I've uh, just about completed my, my trailer. This is going to haul uh, my two, two kayaks plus my camping gear. And today what I wanted to do was just share with you a little bit about what I did in, in setting up uh, my trailer for this. So maybe it would uh, so stimulate you for some ideas that you might have for, for hauling your, uh, your equipment around as well. Let me just uh, get in a little bit closer so that you can see kind of what we did here as far as the kayaks go. Um, I started out uh, with, with a couple of boards across there, but didn't like that, and I went with this Thule system. As you can see, I used uh, some L brackets um, right here to, uh, to fasten that and hold it into place, and the, and the Thule... Uh, Seats are just the the less expensive ones, about $109 or so for each. And you can see I've got it set up for for two kayaks. Um, my rail system, one of the things I went online and found a lot of information about different rail systems. And I'm not real happy right now with, with what I have, but it's what it's going to do for right now until I find something better. Because uh, finding uh, some really good rails is kind of hard. These this is just some really cheap wood, and you can see it's already starting to crack. But I did go with the steel post, and I really like these um, uh, perforated uh, square tubing. It, it's really nice, and you can see I've got it braced down at the bottom. Uh, I even set it up so that I can have a little uh, cooler on the front uh, of my trailer. Uh, that's good if you're, you know, you pull over to have a little lunch or something if you're making a trip. And, of course, a trailer jack. And I've got all kinds of little hooks and things to hold stuff into place. Um, moving around, it, well, one thing I would do want to show is I have to be able to take these off because this trailer all folds up. So I went with this kind of a, a pen system right here that you can see. for, um, And it's pretty easy just to, just to pull these out uh, and remove, uh, remove the pen. And this, this comes off. Then there's four on each side uh, to hold all that in place. And then moving around to the back of the trailer, you can see I used a clip on there that just flips up, and then you just slide these out. Um, again, the screws have not been a problem uh, for holding that in place, but it would be nice uh, maybe to come up with something else. There are some very fancy, rather expensive um, brackets that you can get for up here in the front area that actually just overlap each other and they're really really nice we're in the process now of looking for uh, a cap that we can put on top of here to protect uh, our kayak bar and just to kind of make that less sharp uh, in the process well that's uh... that's pretty much about everything well there's my my kayak hanging from the ceiling and here's the other one up here so we're we're kind of trying to keep things uh, as organized as possible uh... And at the same time uh, be able to load up quickly. You can see all of our uh, containers back in the back here. Uh, each of these holds some of our camping equipment and then others over there in the uh, in the corner over there where we have uh, other items. Well, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, you know, if you have anything, leave some comments. I'll be glad to uh, answer any questions you might have about what we've done. The trailer, by the way, came from Harbor Freight. It's just the eight-foot folding trailer. Uh, this sells for under $300, so it's, it's a pretty good way to go if you have limited space, and, but you want to be able to haul a lot of equipment. And this works for us. We've already uh, tried it out once, and it, and it worked great. Okay, thank you all very much. Talk to you soon. Bye.